sweet, sweet nectar. Today is going to be about programming drums in Ableton, specifically a Tame Impala style beat. So let me show you the idea I have. <laughs> So let's go ahead and dive in here and reprogram that entire drum beat. But we're gonna be doing it uh, using something called Steven Slate Drums. You could actually download their default kit for free, which is like uh, an alternative rock style kit. So this is gonna just be more focused on programming the patterns. So let's start with this beginning part. Yeah, so we can start right away like this. Just doing the basic notes. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Wait, is this right? Let's see. So far, so good, right? So we got to find our snare here. Where's our snare? Turn this little guy on. There we go. So I kind of don't really have uh, any good advice when it comes to like programming a drum fill. But if you're not a drummer, my advice to you would be to just start wrapping your head around playing drums. And honestly, the best way is air drumming. Like you could just air drum anything at any time and you could be very accurate with it when you're just hi-hat, snare, kick. My drum programming skills greatly increased once I actually started playing drums myself. I really had to like force myself to learn how to play and beat in time and get everything down perfectly. So it really helped. So we're gonna start with this drum fill. Boom, boom. So snare, tom. We're getting closer. Da bum bum bum. Da. It's a little bit of a guessing game here, right? Because I have an idea of like where it should go, but once I listen to it, then then I know if I'm right or wrong. All right, I, that's pretty much it. Psh. That works for me. That sounds close to what we did here. Let's start this next section now. Um, so here's our fill. Let's try to be organized here. I'm sorry if this video is very unorganized. It, it's a little chaotic because I, I was trying to wrap my head around how would I do a video about drum programming because I'm kind of like always learning myself. Let's go to eighth notes so it's a little bit easier to see. Go back to our kick. Okay. Always find the down, the down beat, right? So here it is here. So there's your reference point right there. So let's go ahead and, and type that in. Okay. All right, guys, 
sense. Do you see what I'm doing here? That that downbeat is always there. Any idea, any song. That works. Okay, let's get this kick drum in. Sometimes when your beat is somewhat repetitive, you can just copy paste. Yeah. Let's find our hi hat. Wow. All right, I think that's it. Let's reference this drum part for the hi-hat, actually. I might have not done that right. Yeah, let's 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 add this variation here. So these hi-hat parts, it's more of like we got to add in. Yeah, so I'm just taking down the dynamics on every other one and it kind of creates that that pattern of when you're actually playing the hi-hat gives it a bit of a groove. Sounding a little robotic still, so let's go ahead and add these uh, ghost notes. Let's see. We got that. That works. It's not very loud though. Hey, that'll work. Yeah, we're going to keep doing this. Yep. Here's a little variation that I do. So let's figure this out.
Okay, so you can see what I did here. I just lined up the kick and the hi-hat part to go together. And then have these snare hits right before. All right, this ending's going to be different because it goes off tempo. I'm going to... Okay, since uh, it goes off the tempo a little bit, I believe. Let me see. I'm just going to place every hi-hat with every strum that I hear. So kind of in time. It drags a little bit on each one. So I'm going to have to like improvise a bit and just like drag these tracks off the grid so they're they're a little bit they sound a little bit more like they're just slowing down naturally. This is where I often get confused, man, cuz looking at a grid is one thing. Drag I don't want to do something for this fill. It might be kind of fun. Let's see. I'm going to duplicate this entire thing I just did. But I'm just going to keep the fill here. And we're going to go ahead and apply a flanger. Okay, so I put off this video because I wasn't really sure how to make it. And um, it seems like it turned more into like a fly on the wall type of video where you can just see the process unfold. And you kind of need a lot of patience. It's a lot of trial and error. And hopefully you got some value out of it. Anyways, till next time. Okay.